This is a story of a journey, a tour of thousand miles traveled by a very common village lad. Story of life, an exciting narrative of dynamism, courage and commitment. Every tiny single step in the story tells the transitional tale of a stripling into an achiever. This is a visual chronicle of Dr. Hebri Subhash Ballal. The story begins in the year 1941 June from the historical Hebri Bidu family of Udupi district. Hebri Bidu family has its own heritage and ethnicity. It has a history of 800 plus years. Dr. H. S. Balal is the first child among five sons of Mrs. Prafulla and Mr. Belinje Sanjeeva Hegde. I'm a native boy. I was born and brought up here because my parents and grandparents, actually my grandfather, Krishna Hegde, was a director, founder director of Hanuman Transport Company. He used to stay in Udupi. So we used to stay with him, my parents and we children. First two years, up to second standard, I went uh, in Perdur because those days my father used to do some rice mill business in Perdur. So I was there for the first two standards, then we moved to Udupi and then from then on, schooling, then uh, high school and then MGM, as which is one of the first college to be started by founder in 1949. So I did my PUC there. After finishing his initial education in Udupi, Dr. H. S. Balal went to Mysore to pursue MBBS from Mysore Medical College and later he did post-graduation with DMRD and MD in Radio Diagnosis from Government Medical College, Bangalore. Very unassuming, very decent, very polite. Balal and me, we were sitting together I think almost in the same bench in every class. And then we continued our studies in Mysore Medical College for about four and a half years, followed by one year of internship in Mysore Medical College. Dr. Ballal has also undergone extensive training in the field of ultrasound and CT scan at the St. Louis University, Missouri, USA. Dr. Ballal's professional career started with Kasturba Medical College, Mangalore, and has been associated with Manipal University for over four decades. He started his career as a professor and later became the HOD of radio diagnosis at Kasturba Medical College, Mangalore. In 1987, he was appointed as the president of IMB, South Canara branch. In 2001, Dr. Ballal became the dean of the Kasturba Medical College, Mangalore. In fact, he had done a good job in Bangalore as a dean and uh, as the head of the department. And one thing about him is uh, he is uh, selfless and uh, he always projects uh, me and the university in front of him. Dr. Ballal's dean uh, tenure is though short. He's the best, most popular deans of KMC Mangalore whom I have seen. In recognition of his dedicated work and administrative acumen, he was appointed as Vice-Chancellor of the prestigious deemed university, Manipal Academy of Higher Education for three years and later appointed as the Pro-Chancellor of Manipal University. Dr. Balal as an administrator, he is firm and steadfast in his decisions, yet he is uh, just and fair in dispensation. That makes him an excellent administrator. Dr. Ballal strongly believes that teaching is as much about creation of new knowledge as it is about imparting existing knowledge in textbooks. Progress of any student is dependent on the teacher's knowledge and ability to inspire. Those days only conventional radiology, no CT scans and all. So we had to discuss whatever we had to discuss and learn from him. So as postgraduates, I became closer to him because of that uh, maybe one-to-one -one interaction and uh, learning uh, radiology straight from him. Definitely uh, we, we have learnt our radiology through under, under his guidance. 
see it's all depends on how much your head of the department encourages you to do new things and all but there was always good cooperation from the head of the department and we had all the encouragement we did lot we learned lot of new things under his guidance all i can say is he teaches the as a teacher his concepts are very clear dr ballal is a good human being able administrator and above all he's a great teacher Dr Ballal's vision has contributed in building Manipal University to its present stature. When you see a successful man, uh, you won't find him doing everything alone. Always he is with the team. And you know the person who gives credit to his team is the successful person I feel. And that's where I find him, you know, very very generous person, very approachable, willing to listen. and uh, working with the team and give credit to the team so he is one of the great support to building of manipal institutions even today uh, he is very open to ideas he is uh, very open to new things uh, he will certainly try to uh, you know uh, wait uh, in the context of the university the sensitivities involved uh, and maybe even the cost uh, implications but but certainly i think he's very open minded and that that's that's rare awards and recognitions have followed the way of dr balal recognizing his dynamism and commitment dr balal is a nominee of the president of india in the court of assam university silchar and a life member of bharatiya vidya bhavan and indian medical association mangalore He has also served as chairman higher education committee of FICCI Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry and is a director on the boards of many companies that make up the Bangalore based Manipal Education and Medical Group He mingles with you he talks with you in the same fashion as though you are talking to the your neighbor or your close friend or any guest who comes to your house in spite of his being occupying so big office he is accessible to anyone anyone could go to him not because of his position he has come to the state because of his personality so much that position has got some grace today especially in the public functions no his voice also very nice voice like his father he has been awarded the IBM Inspiring Vice Chancellor of the Year award and the Education Personality of the Year award the Vocational Excellence award instituted by the Rotary Club of Mangalore was awarded to him in recognition of his achievements in the field of medical education and healthcare in 2009 in 2010 he was conferred the Aryabhatta International Award in recognition of his contribution to the field of medical education he also received the new year award 2008 by the academy of general education syndicate bank and the rotary club of udupi manipal the bangalore medical college alumni association honored him for being one of the best teachers in the medical fraternity dr ballal is a sports enthusiast promoter and a sports person himself though he is a keen follower of all sports the enthusiasm of the mysore university representative in tennis is unbeatable on the tennis courts of marina a sporting arena of manipal every morning he is seen aggressively scoring against opponents half his age cricket is another game he has a great passion for their the leadership qualities are right uh... from childhood even uh, you know among brothers and all he was dominant uh, in playing cricket uh, he would say you know if you play tennis I'll beat you 6-0 and he would do that yes, we actually we won several tournaments uh, if you play with dr bala you have to win he's a, he's, he's he only means believes in winning so he'll force me to play hard and play well i'm a lazy guy but he's always very forceful he would make me feel work very hard and we won quite a few tournaments doubles yeah Being a multifaceted personality, Dr. Ballal is also interested in promoting the local art and culture. Yakshagana, a regional folk art, is close to his heart. Even Yakshagala kala idhu kuda oru bala vandu idhu marthar oru vandu vishesha sakti. Naamu matte oru seeri 
ಗೋಪಾಲ್ ತೀರ್ಥಹಳ್ಳಿ ಗೋಪಾಲ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಒಂದು ಒಂದು ಲಕ್ಷ ರೂಪಾಯಿಯನ್ನು ಅವರ ಮಗನ ವಿದ್ಯಾಭ್ಯಾಸಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಎಚ್ ಎಸ್ ಪಲ್ಲಾಲ್ ರವರು ಅನೇಕ ವರ್ಷಗಳಿಂದ ನನಗೆ ಪರಿಚಯ ಒಂದು ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಜಂಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದರೆ ತಪ್ಪಾಗಲಿಕ್ಕಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂಥ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿತ್ವವನ್ನು ಕಳೆದ ಎಪ್ಪತ್ತೈದು ವರ್ಷಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ನಿರಂತರವಾಗಿ ಅಂಥ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿತ್ವವನ್ನು ಬೆಳೆಸುವುದರ ಜೊತೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಅದನ್ನು ಉಳಿಸಿಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗುವಂಥ ಕೆಲಸ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ನಡೆಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಬಲ್ಲಾಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾರೀಡ್ ಟು ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ಇಂದಿರಾ ಬಲ್ಲಾಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಸನ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸಂದೀಪ್ ಬಲ್ಲಾಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ಸುಪ್ರಿಯಾ ಶೆಟ್ಟಿ I was very young, 17 year old when I was married and uh, he did his post-graduation in Bangalore. Uh, that time we had very good fun. We went with relatives, friends, to movies, restaurants and all. Bibbu Upukari, what do we call no? We were Konkani, this thing. That he likes more. And uh, chicken. Uh, sukka and uh, kori roti biryani all those things he likes he is addicted to cereals you know see so and that cereal time if it uh, clashes our uh, you know games or sports time you know now for example all major uh, tennis <laughs> tournaments i watch you know especially finals or and then cricket now for example ipl or your world cup t20 is going she has no idea about what it is and that i told them <laughs> that i am not interested so but i am very much interested so she is she is sometimes so when she becomes very angry when i don't tell her she puts off the television saying that oh, it, you can see it tomorrow so i said tomorrow it won't be live it will be recorded <laughs> i remember uh, when i was just starting to learn driving <laughs> and every day dad used to come from tennessee to park his car outside then he used to tell me to take the car and park it inside and most of the time it was okay one day i just went and hit the pillar inside the house and i was literally in tears because it was really you know the car was damaged i got down and dad is like laughing he's saying what's uh, why are you so upset like it's just a car it'll get repaired and then he went around telling everyone in the family i hit he you know he hit the car and of course nobody believed him but then you know it was i still remember that moment because I was so upset and he kind of in one flash of a moment he just made it all okay. When we were doing our uh, MBBS uh, he used to come and take uh, lecture classes and uh, of course I used to be very conscious about the fact that he used to come and take lectures uh, because almost all my colleagues did know that you know my uh, classmates did know that he was my uh, dad. Uh, the girls in my class used to always make how come your father is so handsome and you turned on to be like this you know it's all you know Uh, these things used to happen these to uh, because he was a very dynamic person you know uh, with a good voice yeah so definitely you know very charming interestingly all his four younger brothers have followed the footsteps of their elder brother in their profession one day you know we were both cricket fans uh, those days you don't have the luxury of watching it on television like today we really didn't have any television and uh, for about 30 minutes window from time to time they would broadcast a commentary from australia or england so that's the time we all have our ears you know right against this you know radio to listen to that sometimes we would even stay up till 10 o'clock at night to listen to that half an hour commentary so he had a small transistor radio and there was a big match going on both of us being avid sports fans so i said i was going to take the radio to the college and say maybe listen and he said no he wants so we are fighting for it then i just threw it at him and went it was probably rude on my part I went you know without thinking anything about it thinking I was going to come back for lunch and he really got emotional he thought I may not come back so he came looking for me in the hospital to give me the radio so that was, that was funny so I feel that you know I really were fortunate to have him as a brother and I also find it see when you are when he's with other people I have to kind of restrain myself not to you know fool around with him and play with him because I realize he's the <laughs> chancellor here because they at home he really keep pulling his leg all the time it was gentle he was caring we could go to him for any problem uh, he was such a family man whenever he came from mysore he would uh, bring uh, buckets and baskets of fruits apple bananas all the various kind of fruits that were not available in udupi very freely he would bring that from mysore and uh, we would all share it uh, together and uh, we would really really be sad the day he had to go back to mysore of course that was sort of the beginning of what i could remember about him Dr Ballal 
is an epitome of completeness. People associated with him find him lovable, adorable and easily approachable. ಶಿಸ್ತ್ ಬಕ್ಕ ಪರಿಶ್ರ ಮಾಡು ನಲ್ಪತ್ತೈದು ವರ್ಷ ಒಂದೇ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಡ್ ಸಾಧನೆ ಮಲ್ತದ ಇತ್ತೆದಂಚೆನೆ ಈರ ಏಪಲ ಗಟ್ಟಿಡ್ ತೆಲ್ತೊಂದು ತೆಲ್ಪ ಒಂದೇ ಇಪ್ಪೋಡು ಇರೇಗ ಸುಖ ಸಂತೋಷ ಸಮೃದ್ಧಿ ಆರೋಗ್ಯದ ಬದುಕನ್ನು ಕೊರಡು ನಮ್ಮ ಮನೆಯ ದೈವ ದೇವರು ಎಲ್ಲ ನಿಮಗೆ ಆರೋಗ್ಯ ಸಂತೋಷ ಹಾಗು ಆಯುಷ್ಯ ಕೊಡಲಿ ಅಂದೇಳಿ ನಾನು ದೇವ್ರ ಹತ್ರ ಬೇಡ್ಕಂತೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ವಿ ವಿಶ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಕೀಪ್ ಅವರ್ ರಾಯಲ್ ಫ್ಲ್ಯಾಗ್ always hi 25th of june 2016 dr ballal is celebrating his 75th birthday happy birthday arsha you are the coolest grandfather ever we happy hope you are right here at the significant juncture let us all wish dr hebri subhash ballal a very happy birthday